Hello, this is Urshadina from WeDevs. In today's session, we're going to show you how to build a school admin system using the WordPress ERP module. Over the past 20 years, almost every school administrative system has become automated. So let's start. Once you download and install the WordPress ERP module, you will see the setup page. Now click on Let's Go. Set your school name and basic information such as date, financial year, business type, and so on. When you are done, click on continue. For this session, we only need the HR management, so we will disable the rest. But you can leave it as it is. Now set the departments of your choice. I will set accounts, teacher, staff, and IT. When you are done, click on continue. For designation, I'm going to set teacher, accountant, senior teacher, headmaster, and IT specialist. Click on continue when you're done. Set your work days. For a typical school system, Sunday and Saturday is a non-working day. Click on continue and then click on go to ERP dashboard. Let's check out how to add employees, departments, and designations. First, let's click on HR. To add employees, click on the employee tab and then click on Add Your First Employees and fill in the form. When you are done, click on Create Employee. To set the basic salary of an employee, click on Employee and then click on an employee profile. Then click on Payroll and set your desired salary and then click on Submit. In the Department tab, you can see the departments we already created. To add more, click on Add New, fill in the form and click on Create Department when you are done. Likewise, in the Designation tab, you can see the designation we previously created. To add more, click on Add New, fill in the form, and click on Create Designation when you are done. Here is the following list of modules we need to set up the school admin. We need five additional modules. Attendance, Document Manager, Payroll, Recruitment, and HR Training. Check the description box below in this video to find out the links of the modules. Let's start with Recruitment. Click on HR. Then, under Recruitment, click on Add Opening and set the position title. When you are done, click on Next. Set the hiring stage of your choice. If you want to add more, click on Add Stage, set the title of the stage, and then click on Next. Now set the job information by setting the department employment type, experience, deadline, and other related information in this section. When you are done, click on Next. Time to set the candidate's basic information. Click on a requirement and decide if you want to make it mandatory. For example, I am making it a requirement for the candidate to upload a photo. When you're done, click on Next to proceed. Time to set the questionnaire. If you have already created a questionnaire, Click on the drop-down list to add a questionnaire. If you want to create a questionnaire, click on Create Question Set. Then click on Add HR Questionnaire, set the title, and begin adding questions of your choice. Then click on Save Draft, and then click on Publish. When you click on Job Opening, which is under Recruitment, you will find that your questionnaire is ready to use. It's time to set the attendance. Under the Attendance tab, Click on Shift, then add New Shift, set the shift name, time and holidays and click on Save to set the attendance. Under Actions, click on Generate and set the start and end date of the shift. Now select the employees who will follow this shift. Click on Generate to confirm. Let me demonstrate the attendance from an employee's perspective. I will switch to Jim Coy's account, then I will scroll down and click on check in. As you can see, Jim has checked into the school system. If we go back to the attendance tab and click on attendance, you will see that out of the six employees, three have checked in. Let's set the payroll for making payment. Click on modules and then enable accounting and then click on save settings. This will enable you to use the payroll system. Now go to HR and click on Payroll and then click on Settings. I will set Payment Method to check and save this setting. 
Now under Payroll, click on Pay Calendar and click on Add New Pay Calendar. Set the calendar name, calendar type and pay day. Then click on Add Employee and select the department and designation and click on Add Employee List. All the employee lists will appear below. Now click on Create Pay Calendar. Click on the Start Pay Run. Set the start and ending date of the pay run. Be sure to set the payment date as well. When you are done, click on Next. In this section, you add additional payment to the basic salary, such as bonus. You can also deduct and make payments for accurate adjustment. When you are done, click on Next to proceed. In this section, you will see an employee pay slip, which gives you an overview. You can also view other employees' information and print them. When you are done, click on Next. In the final step, if you are satisfied with the information, click on Approve. The ERP system is also capable of setting a training date and notifying targeted employees. Click on Training tab and select Create Training. Set the title of your training. Now set the training subject, your target audience, and the duration of the training. When you are done, save your work and click on Publish. If you go back to the Training tab, you will see your training session has been set. Lastly, let's set the Document Manager. The Document Manager enables you to upload files and folders for managing administrative files. To create a folder, click on the Document tab and click on Create Folder. Then set the folder name and click on OK. Click on Upload and select the file you want to upload. The Document Manager is great as it works as a backup for your files, so you will have no fear of losing your files. And that's how you can set up your school system in WordPress. Be sure to check the links in the description box below to download and install the modules. We also have a blog on this tutorial, so do check it out. Also, feel free to contact us if you need any help to set up your own system using the WordPress ERP system. Bye!